Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm here with another Java tutorial to be given a in your exam and to help you out in your dating life. Why? Today we're going to be doing how to calculate the difference in days between two given dates. So why is this useful? Well, it's been scientifically proven by me on zero subjects that if you wear a man down item of clothing on a date, you are guaranteed to get laid. It's been scientifically proven as 0% of my subjects got rejected after their date in terms of getting laid, implying that 100% must have been accepted, because that is clearly flawless logic. So, you could just head over to the Gamers Appeal man down store and buy some great items of clothing or a backpack. However, there's a problem. You need to figure out if these items of clothing will come in time for your date, as if they don't, you're not going to get laid. It's as simple as that. It's just a proven fact. Even the CEO didn't deny it. He just told me to shut up when I asked him. So it's clearly true. And you could just count for days between the, the current day and the date, and when the items will be coming. Or you can use this neat Java program I'm going to teach you how to make, so, let's get into it. Also, this can technically help you in an exam. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. This isn't sponsored. Anyway, so let's get into it. So I want to do date, time, formatter, formatter, equals date, time, formatter, dot of, pattern, dd, slash, mm, slash, u, 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 u. Uh... So, what's this line of code? Well, first you need to fix the imports. To import the datetime formatter library. We're going to call our datetime formatter object formatter. And the off pattern is basically setting a pattern for a date for this formatter. Basically, this object will convert a string into some form of date object. And we have created a format for dates to be converted to for a date related object. This is basically the guy who's going to be converting our strings into dates. So, now we need to make some strings. So, I'll do string, first date, something I haven't had. Hey, I'm joking. Or am I? You'll never know. .07, uh, I know, 2018. That's our first date. I want to do string, second date, something I haven't had. Or maybe I have. You'll never know because you don't know much about me. Haha. -ha. 07 slash 2018. So, there's clearly a one day difference between these. So now we have our strings, we're like, okay, we need to get the difference between them. And the easy way to do this is to convert them to a date format, or a date object. So we're going to do that, we're going to be using local date, date1 equals local date, dot pass, first date, formatter. First, we import the local date library, up here. So, what's this doing? So, we're basically creating a local date object. We're going to call it date1. Uh, dot pass is basically converting a given string to, to the local date object format. We're using our formatter object that we created here to convert this... No, to convert this into a date in that format, which is the UK format. And before you ask, but Max, why are you using... Uh, four U's instead of four Y's. Well, basically, it's a Java practice by many people to actually use U's instead of Y's. Now we need to do this again, but with um, date two, so we can just copy and paste because I'm lazy. Replace the two there and do second date, which is our second string. Now we need to add, now we need to get the difference. We do long days between equals Chrono trigger, I meant unit, dot days, dot between, date one and date two. And you need to right click to import the chrono unit class. So what, why are we making a long here? Well basically, the dot between method basically takes in two dates and gets the, date, the, the time between them in days. And the, the dot between methods returns a long value, therefore we need a long variable to store the value. Now we could convert it to an integer, that could potentially lead to rounding issues, which could destroy the accuracy of the data. And the difference between a long and an integer is a long 
is the length of my penis, I meant no. It's um, just a bigger integer. It's 64 bits by default, while in Java an integer is a 32 bit value by default. An integer is signed by two's complement by default. And a long data type by default is an unsigned 64 bit long. That's a bit of nerdiness for you, and that's why I'm single. I'm joking. Now we need to do system dot out dot parent ln days between. So we clearly know there's going to be one day between them. So we're going to run and look. It says minus one. So you clearly don't want a negative number. Why? Because it doesn't sound. It sounds really weird in the conversation to be like, hey, it's minus two days ago. You'd say two days ago, wouldn't you? Exactly. So basically, there's a bit of a problem here, and there are many ways we can fix this. Um, we could just ensure the user always puts the smaller number in first, then the bigger number. I meant the smaller date, then the bigger date. You could swap the parameters around if you wanted to. Or you could do a simple if statement. So, what do we want to do? We want to do if days between is greater than, no, it's greater than minus one. If it's greater than minus one, then we want to put this inside here. Because obviously it's a positive number. And then you want to do else. And then times by minus one. So basically times anything by minus one. Well, times in a negative by minus one always makes it positive. And if it's greater than minus one, then um, we, we want it to stay the same, you know? Or we could actually do greater than zero, actually, because you can't have a negative zero. And obviously now, if you look at it, it says one. Let's swap these two around. O, oh, nine, and one, zero. It says one. Look, it's one day between regardless. We're all happy. So it's been Tutorial Guys, thanks for watching, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Also, uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more coding videos or any more relationship advice like this, because it's clearly high quality relationship advice. And if you want to actually buy some man down clothing, because you actually believed my facts that have been scientifically proven, clearly, you know, not being, you know, not faking this or anything, you can actually go down to the comments below, not the comments, the description, and you can um, check out the Mandown store. So yeah, thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.